Hello my beautiful amazing people, welcome back, it's your boy Mr. Green Hands and thank you so much for joining me. It is a beautiful great evening in the UK right now and it's because it's been scorching hot, this is the time for me to plant my pumpkins. Come with me to see how I plant my pumpkins. This is the beautiful and amazing pumpkin that I sowed. These are just coming into amazing, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a nine one there. And they are literally coming right of it because now the true leaf is out. I really want to get them going because they're just beautiful. It's a little bit late. Some people here in the allotment literally is way ahead. Their pumpkin is in the ground and running. So I want to get these boys in there because it's a super hot time right now and get it watered and see if we can start to catch up with everybody else. The first thing I want to do is make sure I remove these safely because this is a critical moment. because You don't want to damage any root at the bottom. So I want to, I, sometimes I use my fingers and I just push down push around because I want to get some of the soil with it I just like use your two fingers like this like that go in and up underneath the roots and bring it up with that amount of soil I don't want to make or affect the disturb I don't want to basically don't want to disturb this growing process because you don't want to disturb nothing look at that I'm gonna pop it in to a item thing that I have here I'm gonna pop it over there like that so keep it going I'm going to continuously do the same thing for these. Just be away from the root a little bit and just go underneath. Keep something, you got to use two hands for it to make sure you go where the seed was. And just keep keeping it together, putting it across. Look at that one hander. Just beautiful. But this is the moment you have to really take time, you don't want to damage anything. because you do not want to lose nothing at all in the hard process of actually getting it to germinate. Yeah, that would not be a nice day for you because you want to minimize the stress on the plant because obviously taking it out of where it is, it's going to affect the plant. The plant will go into a sort of like a shock, but you want to minimize that. And that is probably why I'm actually doing it this afternoon is the sun was so hot today the plant would literally be in absolute shock and I didn't want to cause too much damage to it. Some people use a chowl, but because I don't have my chowl out here, I'm using my hands and trying to remove them as um, nicely as possible. I'm going to leave those few two here to see if they can get more of a stronger growth going. A little bit extra rooting system started. So right now I'm going to pop these bad boys up there into their new home so come with me my favorite compost that i'm using at the moment it's definitely is jack's magic from wasteland it's absolutely amazing i find it's incredible and it gets me great results but i also as well like how i used this one here what i sold them in is pure organic or um horse manure compost from countryside i think countryside i'm not sure about that but i will double check and write the name along here as well obviously when you're gardening sometimes things happen so i've literally have it here i've got my absolutely amazing dipper so i just want to put a little hole like a little circleish sort of hole there i don't want to make sure I'm going too deep for the size that is needed for this and i just want to grab my okay maybe i need to make this a little bit bigger as well let's go side to side like a little peacock and then pop it in just like that bring back fill it back in with this amazing compost push it down a little bit and i just want to water that get those little insects from around it and you want to give it an absolutely amazing soak because you want to make sure it's, it's it knows that it's in a new place and this home is where it's going to grow and become amazing and you if you realize that i i, I literally made a crater but i put a bank in of the original soil on the side what i'm going to do in about once it's literally started to grow and it's starting to get it's set, you know start to set itself and start to spring and start to run what i am going to be doing is going to be filling this area here with some organic chicken manure pellet then i'm going to bring the soil that i dug back over to it which is known as a mole in it and then that's literally it it's going to do its biz after that all i have to do literally is just keep it watered and keep it going that's literally it and i'm going to just do that quickly 
for all of these other ones that I have here. And then I'll show you guys the finished product at the end. So that is what they look like right now. I have literally watered them really nicely. And there's an amazing thing about pumpkin, right? Whenever it's put on its true leaf, you would then realize that this one here is where it's going to run to. I only just learned that recently, like wherever the, di the opposite direction of its true leaf is where the pumpkin will run first. So as you can see here, the true leaf is facing this way. So this will start to run that way. And I've turned them in literally in different directions. So the pumpkin literally can grow all over the place and start to take over this whole area here. But I don't think a lot of people have ever heard of the, um, some of this, obviously if you're a gardener, you heard of the three sister which is where you plant pumpkin, you plant corn, and you plant some beans in that same area because the beans will bring all that nitrate because it's a fantastic nitrate fix. It will fix all the nitrogen in the air, um, in the ground by taking it from the air and bringing it into the soil. The corn will absorb a lot of that and the pumpkin will definitely because they're quite, quite heavy feeders of nitrogen nitrogen so that will give them all that amazing stuff to let them grow and become bigger and stronger so basically i'm planting here let me show you guys because i've got the pumpkin i've just literally just the pumpkin and if you look closely there is something called corn there's a little corn right there there's two corn that's busting out the ground there's another one there there's another one there i haven't planted my beans yet but they will be coming soon. So this is going to be like a bean, pumpkin and corn environment here. And I'm definitely going to be showing you guys that. And that is it. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you learned something today about planting pumpkins or how to plant pumpkins or using a few techniques that I have. Obviously, try your own and see which works for you. And always doing research, not just take everything I say. Check it out for yourself. Learning is fundamental and it's not just all about listening to what I'm saying. It's all about you learning and learning something new. Ex expand your knowledge of gardening. It's so important. You never know what works for you. So try and do something different. It's not, it's not the easiest and funniest thing. You don't know if it's going to be successful, especially if you've already had success in another environment or any things that you've done. So try something new. You never know. And that is me, your boy, Mr. Green Hands. And thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Thank you for your beautiful and amazing comments, all the people over the world. And thank you so much, guys, for trusting in me. And thank you for being here always. It's your boy, Mr. Green Hands. And thank you so much. Have a blessed day and stay blessed. Please look after the planet because we have to.